Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm going to show you how to make this shrimp parmesan. Hey guys, welcome back to Low Carb with Jennifer. We're going to make shrimp parmesan today. It's kind of like chicken parmesan, but we're using shrimp and we're going to make it keto, of course. So the batter is not going to be like bread, you know, like bread, uh, breadcrumbs. It's going to be a combo of two beaten eggs, a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. So that's what we're using as our shrimp batter. So we're gonna mix this all together. You can see how it looks right here. I've also got a skillet heating over medium high heat, I'm uh, not medium high, medium heat. This is, the recipe calls for a nonstick skillet, but I can't use a nonstick skillet on this induction cooktop. So I've just sprayed mine really good with cooking spray. Hopefully that works. So here's our batter. This is the consistency that you want. And we've got 12 ounces of jumbo shrimp peeled and deveined. I already removed the tails and all that stuff. So we're about ready to go. This recipe is really easy and so good. So what we're gonna do is we're going to dip a shrimp in the batter and coat it, and then we're going to drop it in the skillet. The egg is going to form a crust, and the Parmesan is going to be so good. All right, now we're gonna let these cook. I might turn the heat down just a tad. And we're gonna let them, the crust form, and then we'll flip them halfway, you know, when they're done. <laughs> Get these two in the center cooked really fast. I'm gonna pull those out and add two more. Okay, we've got all of our shrimp cooked. It's on a plate over here. So now we're gonna add... <laughs> One moment, please. There we go, ah, got it. We're gonna add a 32 ounce jar of marinara sauce. I'm gonna turn the heat down to um, low, just so it doesn't pop all over me. I love some Rayo's marinara sauce, so good. So, and it's so flavorful, you don't need to add anything to it. It's already got all of that delicious stuff in it. It's got basil in it. It's got garlic. You don't have to add anything. It's the beauty of marinara sauce. So now we're gonna add our shrimp into the sauce. Mine don't, mine did stick a little on my non nonstick skillet. So I definitely would encourage you to use a nonstick skillet just for prettier shrimp. All right, last one. Okay, now we're gonna top this, each shrimp, or you could just dump it on there. But I'm gonna just make it look pretty and top each one with a little bit of mozzarella cheese, about a tablespoon or so per shrimp. And now we're gonna put this under the broiler just to bubble up or make our, our cheese brown and bubbly and delicious. Okay, our shrimp Parmesan is out of the oven. The cheese got nice and bubbly and brown. I'm gonna top this with a little bit of chopped fresh parsley just to be pretty. And look at that. Let me just show you how good this looks. So good, of course. Gotta try a bite. Let's see. Mmm, this one looks so good and it's so hot. Mm. 
It's so good. That is so good. The batter on that has so much flavor from the garlic powder and the Parmesan cheese. So good. So if you are interested in my chicken Parmesan recipe and you're on Facebook, you can just go to jenniferbands.com, search for chicken Parmesan. It's so good and super easy. We use Parmesan cheese as the breading in that one as well. And if you're on YouTube, you can just click this box right here. It will take you to my chicken Parmesan video, show you how to make it. So check that out and thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.